Hi, I'm going to show you how to trace line art to make a sketch file. And I have a coloring book image here of a dolphin, two dolphins. And I have sketched it in Silhouette Studio using the usual trace features. And you will see that it has double lines, which is not what we want. We need a way to, to get it down to one line. We need a way to trace down the middle of this line and that's called a center line trace and it's unfortunately not something that Silhouette Studio can do. But there is an online tool that can do this and um, it's called Rapid Resizer and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, I've got the address on my website but you go to Rapid Resizer and this particular page of the online raster to vector converter. It's free. And the first thing you do is you click choose file. And I'm going to pull up the coloring page with the dolphins that I got off of the internet. And I'm going to change this pull down box to center line and this one to SVG. You'll see that DXF is also a, a, an option if you don't have DE or uh, MTC or SCAL if you don't have a way to use SVGs and can use DXF this is another option but I'm going to be using the SVG and then I'm going to click the trace button and it's going to do its thing and when it's finished it's going to present me with a picture of the trace. Now it won't do this in, if it's using a DXF it'll just download the file right to your download folder but since we did an SVG the SVG actually pops up on the screen and now we have to save it. We can do that one of two ways. We can right click and choose Save As, or we can go to the File menu and choose Save Page As. Maybe a little bit different in your browser, but that's basically the way it's going to be. So you can give it a name and a location. This is default into my Downloads folder. So now I'm going to go back to Silhouette Studio, and I'm going to pull that file. That's right on top from my downloads folder. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the mat and automatically you can see they're a little bit different size but you can see the difference. This is a single line and this is a double line. And so now you just treat this like any other SVG in Silhouette Studio. We usually need to ungroup to set the cut lines and Sure enough, that one will not go until we ungroup it, but once we ungroup it, it we can turn on the cut lines, we can resize it, and be ready to draw with that. This technique is also handy for rhinestones. It doesn't work great on every file because you notice there were no settings or anything on Rapid Resizer, but you might want to give it a try. It's free, it's easy, and it works really well with Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. Hope you enjoyed this video.